SpaceX is preparing for a major endeavor with one of its rockets. Despite the fact that Starship 5-2 is undeniably the center of attention right now, it's important to acknowledge that SpaceX has another formidable asset in its ranks, the Falcon Heavy. SpaceX is set to implement a thrilling upgrade to this vehicle, one that is destined to elevate its already formidable capabilities to unprecedented levels. What exactly does this upgrade entail? Let's dive deeper into today's episode of NR Studio. The Falcon Heavy, SpaceX formidable, super heavy lift launch vehicle, is the epitome of advanced engineering and partial reusability, meticulously designed to carry payloads to Earth orbit and beyond. This incredible rocket improves on the established Falcon 9 design by utilizing the Falcon 9's three first stages as its core. Equipped with advanced structural reinforcements, the Falcon Heavy reaches an impressive height of 230 feet, 70 meters and produces more than 5.1 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. In general, it uses the same second stage in payload fairing as the Falcon 9. However, the expanded payload fairing has been specifically engineered for specific missions. What sets this version apart from the standard fairing is its significant increase in size. The expanded payload fairing maintains a diameter comparable to the standard variant while introducing an additional 17 feet of height increasing the capacity to accommodate larger payloads. This expansion increases Falcon Heavy's flexibility, allowing it to accommodate missions requiring larger physical payloads. However, the changes go beyond mere mirror dimensions. The conventional payload fairing uses a sophisticated reusable mechanism. The two halves are held together by mechanical latches along the vertical seam. During deployment, a high-pressure helium system powers the release of these latches, while four pneumatic thrusters facilitate a smooth and powerful separation. This system mitigates shock throughout the process, thereby enhancing its reliability. Moreover, the components can be extracted and repurposed, providing an effective solution that aligns with SpaceX's dedication to reusability. In contrast, the extended payload fairing adopts an alternative methodology. The two segments are interconnected through a bolted, easily separable seam, Upon the initiation of deployment, redundant detonators trigger a detonation cord housed within an expanding tube assembly. The deliberate detonation induces an expansion of the tube, resulting in the rupture of the structural seam that links the two halves of the fairing. Subsequently, the deployment process is finalized by four pneumatic pushers. This design incorporates a non-bolted clamshell interface between the payload fairing and the vehicle, markedly diminishing shock during separation and guaranteeing a stable environment for the payload. Although this detonation-based system proves to be effective, it is limited to a single use and lacks the reusability demonstrated by the conventional design of the fairing. The choice to relinquish reusability for the extended fairing is fundamentally rooted in practical considerations. Creating a parachute recovery system suitable for its increased dimensions and mass would entail a significant investment of both time and resources. Moreover, the application of this extended fairing is anticipated to be restricted, as merely a select number of payloads will require its utilization. Notable instances encompass certain classified national security launches, as well as NASA's Lunar Gateway missions. Consequently, the extended payload fairing harmonizes innovative design with the specific demands of the mission. This signifies yet another advancement in space assess capacity to address a variety of requirements solidifying Falcon Heavy's status as a versatile and dependable workhorse within the contemporary space sector. As SpaceX enhances its launch frequency, the Falcon Heavy is poised for pivotal missions, incorporating extended fairings to accommodate more substantial payloads. Among these initiatives, the Lunar Gateway mission emerges as a pivotal element of humanity's aspirations for lunar exploration. Let us explore the factors that contribute to the significance of these missions. The Lunar Gateway, commonly known as the Gateway, is a forthcoming space station intended to orbit the Moon. This international initiative unites NASA, ESO, JAXA, CSA, and the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center. Upon its completion, the Gateway will stand as the inaugural space station located beyond low Earth orbit. In addition to serving as an orbital science center, the Gateway will be instrumental in advancing NASA's Artemis program. It is engineered to facilitate an extensive array of lunar endeavors, encompassing research and exploration, provision of temporary habitation, and the establishment of foundational structures for enduring lunar bases. Situated in a near-rectilinear halo orbit, NRHO, 
The gateway will follow a distinctive trajectory, approaching the lunar north pole at a proximity of approximately 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles, while extending to as far as 70,000 kilometers, 3,000 miles, from the lunar south pole. This seven-day orbital cycle facilitates uninterrupted communication with Earth, a vital asset for enduring operations. The inaugural gateway mission of Falcon Heavy is set to launch its initial two essential modules, the power and propulsion element, along with the habitation and logistics outposts. These modules constitute the essential framework for the gateway's operational functionality and habitation capacity. The PPE, engineered by Maxar Technologies, serves as a pivotal solar electric ion propulsion module essential for the gateway's mobility and operational capabilities. Originally designed for the Asteroid Redirection Initiative, the PPE has been strategically adapted to facilitate lunar exploration. Its key attributes encompass the capability to facilitate access to the comprehensive lunar surface and a range of orbital paths, all while functioning as a space tug for incoming spacecraft. The module will function as the Gateway's communications nexus and facilitate its transition into lunar orbit. At the time of launch, the PPE will have a mass of 5,000 kilograms, with approximately 50% allocated to propellant, and will produce 50 kilowatts of solar electric power through deployable solar arrays. It will drive its Hall effect thrusters, complemented by chemical propulsion, to enhance versatility. Subsequently, we will discuss the Habitation and Logistics Outpost, engineered by Northrop Grumman. The HALO will function as the primary habitation module for the Gateway, engineered to cater to the life support requirements of crew members on the Orion spacecraft. HALO offers vital amenities for preparations pertaining to lunar landing. This high-pressure environment will encompass command, control, and data systems, in addition to energy storage, thermal regulation, and communication capabilities. The module is equipped with two axial and two radial docking ports, ample storage capacity, and environmental systems designed to sustain a crew of four for a minimum duration of 30 days. The exterior will accommodate radiators, communication antennas, and batteries, thereby enhancing operational efficiency. HALO is additionally designated to function as a docking station for the International Logistics and Habitat Module, IHAB, as well as the Human Landing System. The development of these two modules is progressing concurrently with a coordinated launch slated for a Falcon Heavy mission no earlier than 2027. Although the timeline may seem remote, their development represents a noteworthy advancement in the evolution of lunar exploration infrastructure. In the interim, Falcon Heavy has a series of intriguing missions on the docket. Certain events transpire significantly earlier. The newly introduced extended fairings for these missions will facilitate the transport of larger payloads, thereby unlocking new avenues for scientific and exploratory pursuits. With SpaceX unwavering commitment to innovation, the anticipation surrounding significant milestones such as the Gateway's launch is sure to be accompanied by equally exhilarating accomplishments. The current year presents considerable prospects for setting new records, as Falcon Heavy and other SpaceX platforms embark on a series of increasingly ambitious endeavors. With the advancement of the Lunar Gateway and associated initiatives, we stand on the brink of a transformative era in exploration. The resurgence of humanity's presence on the moon coupled with the requisite infrastructure developments, continues to ignite the imagination and resolve of both space agencies and private enterprises. Remain attentive as these significant events transpire. One of the forthcoming Falcon Heavy missions referenced previously in relation to the Lunar Gateway is Griffin Mission 1. For the uninitiated, Astrobotics Griffin Mission 1 is a lunar landing endeavor slated to achieve touchdown on the moon's south pole within this year. The spacecraft is anticipated to function effectively for an astounding duration of 100 days following its landing. The initial focal point of this endeavor was NASA Viper Rover. Viper, an acronym for Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, represented an ambitious endeavor in lunar exploration engineering conceived at NASA's Ames Research Center. This rover was entrusted with an audacious mission to elucidate the origins and distribution of water on the moon, thereby laying the groundwork for resource extraction methodologies that could underpin future human exploration endeavors. In addition to its scientific objectives, Viper was designed to showcase innovative technology capable of functioning under the extreme conditions of the lunar environment, including frigid temperatures, 
varying light levels, challenging terrain, and the efficient storage and generation of power. Viper transcended mere scientific achievement. It exemplified engineering prowess. This rover, comparable in size to a golf cart and weighing 30 kilograms, achieved a maximum power output of 50 watts generated from its solar panels and battery. It additionally established communication through X-band transmissions with NASA's Deep Space Network. It featured a drill measuring one meter in length and was equipped with a quadruple mass spectrometer for its lunar explorations. While its maximum velocity of 0.8 kilometers per hour may not secure any racing victories, speed is not paramount when one is delving into the enigmas of the moon. Regrettably, on July 1st, 202, during a teleconference, NASA disclosed the cancellation of the Viper program, citing escalating costs as the primary reason. The rover, having been completely assembled and subjected to stringent environmental testing to confirm its resilience against launch stresses and the moon's harsh conditions, was ultimately put on hold just prior to completion. The scientific community is not unduly stringent, and rightly so. When a project arrives at this stage of preparedness, even in the face of budgetary excesses, relinquishing it resembles witnessing a nearly finished masterpiece being relegated to obscurity. Should you find yourself experiencing feelings of indignation or distress similar to mine, please feel free to express your sentiments in the comments section below. Notwithstanding the untimely end of Viper, NASA remains resolute in advancing the Griffin mission. Griffin will now be equipped with a mass simulator in lieu of Viper thereby converting the mission into a technology demonstrator aimed at validating the lander's capability to transport substantial payloads. While it may not be the stellar lunar science success we had anticipated, Griffin is not one to sit still. At the same time, one might imagine scientists in China and India watching their rovers effortlessly traverse the lunar terrain with amusement. That, in a way, sums up the issue at hand. All those upcoming Falcon missions. Ah, I guess I overlooked that detail. The United States Space Force continues to be a major client for SpaceX, with two Falcon Heavy launches scheduled this year, designated USS F-75 and USS F-70. While the details of these missions are shrouded in secrecy, the Falcon Heavy's use of an upgraded fairing suggests that the payloads are quite substantial. Previously, the secretive USS F Falcon Heavy mission successfully deployed a Boeing X-37B into highly elliptical high Earth orbit from Launch Complex 39A, underscoring the magnitude and secrecy of such an operation. The Boeing X-37B, commonly referred to as the Orbital Test Vehicle in OTV, is an advanced reusable robotic spacecraft designed and managed by the Department of the Air Force's Rapid Capabilities Office in partnership with the United States Space Force, USSF. The X-37B, a 120% scale-up of Boeing's earlier x 0 has been operational for more than a decade, yet many aspects of its mission remain mysterious. The Air Force officially characterizes the X-37B program as an experimental initiative aimed at demonstrating technological advances for a reliable, reusable, and uncrewed spaceflight test platform for the U.S. Air Force. The goals of the X-37B include advancing reusable spacecraft technology and conducting experiments designed for return to Earth. The spacecraft's test parameters include avionics, flight systems, guidance and navigation, thermal protection, insulation, propulsion, and reentry systems. While it remains uncertain whether any of the upcoming Falcon Heavy missions will use the X-37B, the prospect is undeniably exciting. Given the previous consideration of the vehicle's potential successor, the X-37C. As for future Falcon Heavy missions, no concrete information has been released. However, the accelerated launch frequency, coupled with the surge in demand for substantial payloads, suggests an increasingly ambitious schedule for SpaceX this year. Beyond SpaceX's progress, 2025 is poised to mark a significant transformation for the aerospace sector at large. Companies like Blue Origin and Rocket Lab are also playing a key role in the sector's incredible expansion and innovation. This year promises to change the landscape of space sex exploration. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode. -y.